Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Charlie. Hey, Charlie, do you know what today is? Oh, yeah, it's National Watermelon Day. That's right. August 3rd recognizes the refreshing summertime treat enjoyed at picnics and fairs. And since a watermelon is um, 92% water, it's very satisfying during the summer heat. I love me watermelon. Got a joke for you, Miss Gina. What is the only time you start at the red and end in the green? Hmm. I don't know, Charlie. Why don't you tell me? Okay. When you eat a watermelon. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> A little slow. I know I am. Um, that's really cute, Charlie. Do you want to hear some more interesting facts about watermelons? Yeah, I love learning. Tell me, Miss Gina. Watermelons are a vine like flowering plant that originated in southern Africa. Why the world why the word watermelon refers to both the fruit and the plant most botanist. The plant is a pipo. What's that? The pipo is a berry with a thick rind and a fleshy center. They are also characteristic of the cucurbitaceae. Huh? <laughs> it's a scientific term for the gourd family. It's hard to say, too. Watermelon, watermelon treat is a type of melon. Miss Gina, why did the cantaloupe jump into the pool? Why did the cantaloupe jump into the pool? Are you talking about like a swimming pool? Because it wanted to do a watermelon. <laughs> cute, very cute, Charlie. Okay, tell me more about watermelons. Well, the smooth exterior usually produces a, a green, dark green rind with stripes and yellow, and sometimes yellow spots. Watermelon produce juicy interior flesh ranging from deep red to pink. Sometimes they're orange, yellow, or white. That's right, Charlie. Sometimes they are. While melons hold plentiful of water, wild melons, wild melons kind of taste bitter and are real bland. I don't think I'd like those. <laughs> Probably not. The clues, this clue suggests that the dessert dwellers likely cultivated their first melon. The seeds and art found in the tombs of Pharaoh, you know who Pharaoh is, yeah, they supply additional clues to the watermelon's value, you know, because Pharaoh, they had, you know, they were the top, and they always had, like, gold and just everything of value, so watermelons were probably really valued to them. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So, with proper growing conditions, watermelons grow to be enormous sizes. Around the world, competitions award prizes each year for the largest watermelon. The Guinness Book of, Re uh, the Guinness Book of World Records states the heaviest watermelon weighed 262 pounds. Oh, wow, that's a lot of weight. Yep. That's a lot for a watermelon, for sure. If you would like to learn more refreshing watermelon facts, you can check out the www.watermelon.org for more information. That's good to know. So how can we observe National Watermelon Day? Uh, you can go to a watermelon patch and tick your own. Yes, you can. 
or you can go to a local uh, farmer's market or even your local store and probably pick up a watermelon. And slice it up and then dot your strands over and enjoy some watermelon. Good idea. I'd come to your house if you chopped, uh, not chopped, but if you sliced up some watermelon, I would come and have some because I love watermelon. Yeah, or you could have a seed spitting contest. Seed spitting contest? Well, I guess you could. And I know some fairs, they do do that. Or festivals and things like that. But you could also create a new watermelon recipe. And you can share all your favorites with all your friends. Um, how about enjoy watermelon candy or drinks yes you could do that and you can learn how to pick a ripe watermelon uh create a frozen dessert you could make a watermelon dessert probably out of it maybe like a sorbet or something like that yeah or you can carve it up yeah you could carve it like a pumpkin that would be fun. Just make sure you get all the good stuff out. <laughs> you know, definitely. We don't want to leave all the good stuff in it. We just carve it out and we'll eat it and then carve it and make it like a pumpkin, like Halloween. But we can do have a carving contest or something, like a watermelon contest. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be really cool. So, I guess that's all the facts I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all. See ya. Bye. Oh, we forgot a very important thing. Yeah, y'all do try to, to share it on your social media. Your recipes or your pictures. And use hashtag National Watermelon Day. So, bye. See ya. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mwah!